Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace today. His Majesty the King reviewed with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister a number of local issues aimed at serving the Kingdom's progress march and ensuring the interests of citizens. His Majesty affirmed that the Kingdom continues adopting programs and plans to attain more national achievements that enhance the Kingdom's pioneering role and progress as well as meet the aspirations of its citizens for more development and prosperity. His Majesty the King lauded the tremendous national humanitarian efforts His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is leading to counter the novel coronavirus. He is noting that such efforts have achieved outstanding success through the work of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus, the solidarity of various relevant parties and the Bahraini people's awareness. His Majesty extended thanks and appreciation to all medical competencies and supporting teams for their extraordinary efforts and dedication for the sake of providing health care and protecting the safety and health of citizens and residents. His Majesty the King stressed that the world has become more optimistic about the near end of the pandemic through the continuity of research to find vaccines, which gives the entire humanity hope for the return of life back to normal, adding that the Kingdom is keen on providing the vaccine and ensuring that it is available and accessible to all citizens and residents in a securely and easy manner. His Majesty commended the level of the efforts and preparations for the organization of the two Formula One races amid the exceptional circumstances imposed by the pandemic, which reflects the Kingdom's potentials to ensure the success of such a major international sports event. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to all the officials of the Bahrain International Circuit for their dedication and keenness in providing all success requirements. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawzi bin Abdullah Zainal, the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, and the Deputy Presidents of the two Councils, who presented His Majesty with the annual report of the Shura and Representatives Councils for the second session of the fifth legislative term. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the vital role of the legislative authority in establishing the pillars of the National Democratic March and developing the system of laws and legislations that serve citizens and fulfill their needs. His Majesty to hail the achievements that the two councils continue to make, noting their vital role in solidifying Bahrain's relations with various world countries. He expressed thanks and appreciation for the honorable national stances of the Shura and Representatives Councils, commending their statement on the incident of intercepting two Coast Guard boats by Coast Security and Qatari Border Patrols. His Majesty the King praised the advanced level of cooperation and coordination between the two authorities to serve democratic work, noting that the report contains constructive initiatives and suggestions to develop legislative and supervisory performance in the kingdom. During the meeting, a number of topics on local affairs were discussed, as well as developments on combating the coronavirus and the positive progress that has been achieved. His Majesty lauded the efforts of the National Task Force to combat the coronavirus, noting the Council's initiatives and suggestions in the field of applying digital transformation in various fields. His Majesty asserted the kingdom's ability to successfully pass the stage. For her part, the Speaker of the Representatives Council affirmed that His Majesty's directives are an incentive to develop the efforts of the Representatives Council in conducting its constitutional tasks and performing its legislative and supervisory role. She noted that the royal support is a main pillar for enriching parliamentary work and making further legislative achievements during the past legislative session. The chairman of the Shura Council expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support to the role of the legislative authority. He asserted that every legislative achievement and success stems from His Majesty's directives which provide an incentive for the legislative authorities' members to exert further efforts and develop their performance. The Shura Council held its weekly session headed by its chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh. The session began by ratifying the minutes of the previous session, which included the letter of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, accompanied by a draft law approving the state's general budget for the fiscal year of 2021 and 2022. The Council discussed the report of the Women and Child Children's Affairs Committee regarding a draft law on issuing the Restorative Justice for Children and the Protection from Abuse Law. It also issued a statement on the occasion of Bahraini Women's Day held this year under the title Bahraini Women in the Field of Diplomatic Work. The Shura Council affirmed that Bahraini women have demonstrated remarkable patriotic commitments and have made pioneering contributions to strengthen diplomatic work in Bahrain, thanks to the support they receive from His Majesty the King. They also added that the support of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, is one of the pillars of the successes and achievements made by Bahraini women. 
Under the patronage of the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health and President of the Bahraini Diabetes Society, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, a virtual community walkathon was initiated. The event was organized by Bahrain's Diabetes Society in cooperation with the Ministry of Health and BOPCO, in addition to a number of NGOs and individuals. The initiative is considered the first of its kind in the kingdom through which anyone can virtually participate in this health event, whether from inside or outside of Bahrain. On this occasion, the Supreme Council of Health Chairman and the President of the Bahrain Diabetes Society said that the Kingdom of Bahrain joins world countries and international health organizations in celebrating the World Diabetes Day, which falls on November 14th under the slogan, Nurses Make the Difference. He also stressed Bahrain's keenness on increasing community awareness and di about diabetes to prevent citizens from contracting it and help the affected in reducing its dangerous complications. The Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health and the President of the Bahraini Diabetes Society Society affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is concerned with chronic non-communicable diseases and strives to limit the spread of diabetes as well as reduce its health and economic impacts by implementing preventative and curative initiatives and providing advanced health services. In this regard, the Ministry of Health uh, provides hospitals, centers and clinics uh, concerned with controlling and treating diabetes. It also provides preventative programs and community awareness campaigns that spread health awareness and encourage adopting a healthy lifestyle style that includes physical activity and healthy eating habits. For her part, the Minister of Health, Faiq Abu Saeed Saleh, said that the world is witnessing a steady increase in non-communicable chronic disease cases, including diabetes. She noted that the Ministry of Health is keen to provide the best effective health care for diabetics through specialized clinics and health centers in endocrinic clinics and secondary care, in addition to early detection programs for diabetic complications and the provision of specialists to treat these complications from various specialties. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Ziyani, met today in Kuwait. The Kuwaiti Minister of Foreign Affairs and Acting Minister of Information Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Nasr and Mohammed Al Sabah, upon his official visit to Kuwait. They discussed the course of bilateral relations and means of enhancing them, as well as issues of common interest. The meeting was attended by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Under Secretary for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and senior officials from the Kuwaiti Foreign Affairs Ministry. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, met today in Masqat the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs of Oman, Badr bin Hamad Al Busaidi. During the meeting, the two sides discussed the course of brotherly relations and cooperation between the two countries and means of enhancing joint bilateral cooperation and coordination in affairs of common interest. The meeting was attended by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Under Secretary for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Omani Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. For diplomatic affairs, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Harthi and Bahraini Ambassador to Oman, Jum'a bin Ahmed Al Kabi. A contract agreement was signed to invest and operate the popular Hamad Town Market between the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Mall's real estate development company, which will undertake the construction and operation of the market at a total cost of 3.5 million Bahraini dinars to provide the required services to the residents of Hamad Town and nearby areas. The agreement comes as a result of the cooperation between the Ministry of Works, the Northern Municipal Council and the private sector and within the ministry's endeavors, towers establishing and developing more modern markets that serve citizens and residents and meet their needs in the various governance of the kingdom. Under the patronage of the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, the Bahrain Society for Women's Development held a remote ceremony to honor the graduates participating in the accredited international diploma program in institutional innovation with the participation of 63 trainees and representatives of 60 civil and government institutions in Bahrain, the Gulf and the Arab countries, from civil society as experts concerned with sustainable development affairs. The Minister of Labor and Social Development affirmed that the experience of offering a diploma in institutional innovation and other programs and initiatives asserts that challenges are not an obstacle to work, production and the achievement of goals. In turn, the Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, stressed the importance of sustaining the projects and programs adopted by civil society institutions by following the best innovative scientific methods to empower women and the youth. He noted that institutional culture is achieved by stimulating creativity and self-worth among workers, as well as a workmanship. 
Year after year, the Kingdom of Bahrain affirms its competency and ability to organize a Formula One race held this year under the exceptional circumstances imposed by the coronavirus pandemic. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain held the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2020 with unremitting and complementary efforts between various sectors, proving once again the capabilities of Bahraini cadres in organizing international events, which earned global praise for the success of the race and the home of motorsports in the Middle East. We have to say, Crofty, you know, really congratulations to them because the way we've all been welcomed here in difficult circumstances. It's been incredible. I mean, the efficiency at the airport for the COVID testing and the way we were all, um, you know, literally we flew through the process, wasn't it? Hundreds of us landed, three different flights from Europe, full of F1 people. And it was amazing how quickly we were through. We, we landed at the airport. We went straight to have a test. We then went straight to our hotel. We waited uh, overnight for the results of that test to come back. Uh, and via an app, yes, an app, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, tells you whether you're testing negative or positive. Uh, we were all told we had a negative test and we could come to the track. And it really was that simple. Yeah, I mean, this is now, what, the 15th round of this year's championship. Um, by far the slickest operation, I think. Uh, yeah, so we're here. And we're here for not one but two races. Uh, first up, the Bahrain Grand Prix. Then it's the Sakir Grand Prix uh, this time next week. The Bahrain International Circuit welcomed its guests as part of its campaign Thank You, Our Heroes, where the families of frontline workers, including health personnel and other supporting authorities in the kingdom, were invited to watch the Bahrain Grand Prix competitions in recognition of their contributions and commitment to the national efforts to combat the pandemic in the kingdom. Shukran, shukran, shukran. We race for you. Take a well-deserved seat and enjoy. COVID reminded us all of the courage health workers and first responders show every day. Thank you. It's a privilege to race for you. Thank you for your special commitment. Thank you all for the lives you've saved and the people you've cared for. Enjoy the race. Shukran, shukran, shukran. We race for you. Take a well-deserved seat and enjoy. Team Bahrain, with all its members in various sectors, has been successful in the field of international sports. Bahrain's hosting of the Formula One races has been a success story since 2004. Lewis Hamilton of Mercedes was the fastest yesterday to secure pole position for the Formula One Bahrain Grand Prix, reported DPA International. This was Hamilton's 10th pole of the season and 98th overall, and he also set a new track record going into Sunday's race, threatening his championship position in Verstappen. But despite the starting third, the Dutchman can take advantage of a tau from the pole sitting and attempt a good race start tomorrow, with Hamilton already having wrapped up a record record equaling seventh world title ahead of Bottas, the midfield battle for the third spot in the Constructors' Championship between Racing Point McLaren, Renault and Ferrari is heating up in Bahrain. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,519 with 132 recoveries and 130 registered new cases. 53 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 64 are contacts of active cases and 13 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.